Hey guys, what's going on? Bounty here. You know what we're going to be doing. Look at the score there. We've got 165 for the blue team, 109 for the enemies, and this is a backfill game. You will probably yourself have had a couple of these, and when you enter the game it can be a little bit depressing, it can be a bit off-putting, because the people in first place, whether it's your team or the enemies, or a certain pilot on your team just outright dominating, it can put you down a bit because there's a lot of work you need to do if you want to break the top three if you're worried about that statistic on your profile or if you're going for the win now what we need to do you can see it here 3.1 on the car already taken down a few pilots when you get into these types of game modes you've really got to zone in and focus and make sure you get your titan down as early as possible quite often for these games you'll jump in you're already in rearing to go, but there's already enemy titans on the field. And as a measly little pilot, it can be quite difficult to navigate around these titans without getting punched and power shotted like that multiple times. So we're going to jump out there, get the battery to improve our uptime. If you're not too sure about batteries, they don't randomly spawn on the map. You actually have to have one withdrawn from a titan. And then it's either carried or dropped or inserted into a new titan based on what the pilot who has the battery wishes to do so that battery there we killed a pilot who was holding one you can see it from the bright green punch him punch him punch him there we go guys look at that punch that just makes so much more sense we'll reload our cannon for later on and we'll just punch the pilots as they come at us and they'll have no chance at all Titan kill already. You can see we're putting in insane amounts of work, guys, because that's what you've got to do when you get these backfill matches. These aren't the matches where you come in, you unfold your deck chair, you go out on the deck, enjoy the sun, have a beer in your left hand. It's not that type of game. You've got to come and put the work and help your team out because someone has just left, and that person who left may have 30 points, they may have had 50 points, and we need to get that back. And not only that, you need a bit of the score. We need a bit of the score and show them that, hey, this backfill is actually for the best. We're going to carry you to the victory and we're going to steal the top three from you. And that's what we're after with this top performing gameplay here. You can see it, guys. Power shots going absolutely crazy. On the zoomed in mode on this cannon, you can use uh, G for PC to toggle between the modes. There's a short range mode for Legion, and there's also a long range. When you power shot with the short range, it's more of a, you could say it's more of a close splash damage type power shot. Whereas when you do the long range one, it's almost, uh, it's very close to the rectacle. It's almost one bullet to each side. And it's very direct and good for sneaking out pilots if they're hiding in windows. We've just picked up a battery, guys and the cat is meowing at the door. So we're going to pop this battery into the Titan. Look at that, 32% all the way up to 69%, which is why if you see batteries lying around, the best thing you can do, not only does it make your teammates happy, but it also helps your own Titan fall. The best thing you can do is to put that battery inside your own Titan or inside someone else's Titan. If your titan's already down, you don't need to improve your percentage to get your titan full. So it doesn't make sense to give it to someone else unless they're in dire need and your titan's miles away or it's on autopilot. Otherwise, if your titan's nearby, you want to pop it in your own titan. But if you're just running around, you haven't got your titan yet, like in that clip, pop it in a titan, get that extra 25%, I believe it is. And it's really going to help you guys with your Titanfall. Pulling out the iPad, we have Ant Weapons Online. I've been using this a lot more lately compared to the Smart Pistol, compared to AWOL, all those other things. Ant Weapons, good news guys. And we're going to be jumping in the Legion. At this point in time, he's my Titan of choice. We're also taking a look at Ronin, and you'll see a lot of game clips coming soon with Ronin featuring. And then we're going to head over to Scorch. And then once we've tried them all out, we're going to make some videos giving you guys tips and tricks for all the Titans so you can help better improve how you understand the Titans and how you play Titanfall 2. Look at that power shot, guys. It just does crazy amounts of work. He's gone. Pilot assist. It could be better. That was a very bad smart core from myself because you want your Predator cannon down before you activate it. 
I activated the core, you can see it running out pretty soon. I activated the core when my gun wasn't even ready. And I've also made the mistake of activating the core while I'm reloading. Sometimes just accidentally you see core online, you get a bit carried away. So just slow down a bit guys and make sure that you activate it at the best time possible. If the Titan is at quite a distance, make sure you change your Predator Cannon over to long range mode before you activate the core. I know it sounds very simple, but hey, I make this mistake all the time, so hopefully it's something you guys can just be a bit more aware about, and I'll also do the same for myself, and it's going to be these small changes that really help you break through into the top three. There we go, we're using Cloak. We've got a victory, guys, so we came in, we took the field by storm, helped our team secure the victory by 155 points, so it's not a light victory. There's actually quite a big margin there, so we're going to get rid of the sentries. Sentries are just absolutely overpowered, guys. If you start shooting at them, you aggro the sentry. The sentry aims at you and just puts in crazy amounts of work. We know we're at second place. Unfortunately, we just died after it was the end of the round, so we cannot respawn. But hey, that's okay, because I feel as though we deserve a rest, guys. We came in, we shook this game up. We got all the kills, we got the points, we got a couple of cores online, we helped our team lock in the victory, and we also managed to steal second place. So there's going to be someone there who's looking at their top three games, statistic, under their profile, and one of those games that are not top three is going to be the game that we stole from them. Sounds a bit sad, but I mean, the stats page is pretty helpful. What you want to be aiming for is top three in games, and also win percent. Win percent's not too important, just try and aim for top 3. A lot of backfield games you can't really help whether it's win or lose, but all you can do guys is jump in, try your best, help the team out. Look at those three flames on the banners, heating things up guys. Even the banners know that it's serious business. We're just going to cash in the rewards. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. Please note, backfield games, try your best. I'll see you out there on the frontier. Enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.